Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Coach Craig's Sports. Today is Sunday, June 26th, and this is the MLB DFS video for today. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look back at yesterday's picks, seeing how they turned out. Talking about my core picks for today for the FanDuel main slate, it is a nine-game main slate overall. Obviously starting relatively early since it is a Sunday. And then talking about my top GPP stacks, as at the time of this recording, my article and cheat sheet is not yet published. Once that is published, I'll leave a link to it down in the comments below. But without further ado, we'll get started with a recap of yesterday's picks. At the pitcher position, we had Logan Webb, $9,600. Got to 46 points, so he was a hit, and he was the top overall pitcher on yesterday's slate. So very, very good play there. And then we had Eric Cosmer at $2,800. Very good history versus... Zach Eflin in the past, you know, five for nine. Ended up with zero points yesterday. He was a mess, 0 for 4 overall. So it didn't end up being a good day for him. Kind of unfortunate there. Then at second base, you could also play my shortstop, $3,100. Javier Baez got to 19.2 points. He was a hit. He ended up being the third overall shortstop on the slate. I think he was like the sixth overall second baseman, though. So a little bit better at shortstop than he was at second base, although we did play him at second base yesterday. Then we had Trey Turner at shortstop, $3,900. Got to 12 points. He was a hit. He is the second overall shortstop on yesterday's slate. And then last but not least, we had Austin Slater at $2,600. Got to 9.2 points, so he was a hit as well. So a pretty solid day yesterday, 4 out of 5 in terms of hits. If you went with this core 5 and had some other good plays, you had a pretty good chance of cashing yesterday. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to the core picks for today. So I'm going to start off by saying pitching is kind of tough on today's slate overall. I decided to pay all the way up to Shane McClellan for the Tampa Bay Rays. He's going against the Pittsburgh Pirates. He's never faced them before in the past. But when we think of the Pirates, we don't think of one of the strongest offenses. And at the same time, he's a pitcher that's been pitching very well. Averaging 44.5 fantasy points per game. Definitely has upside of maybe 50 or more points today. So definitely willing to pay up on today's slate overall. If you want to pay down to a pitcher, I don't have a problem with that by any means. But that's just kind of the approach that I'm taking overall today. At first base, we have Seth Brown, $2,500. Since we are playing such an expensive pitcher, I'm trying to pay down at some of these other positions. Seth Brown fits in perfectly here, you know, since he is that $2,500. Averaging just over eight fantasy points per game on the season goes against the Kansas City Royals and Brady Singer. And he's four for six with two home runs versus Brady Singer in his career. So definitely a lot of upside there overall today. Then at third base, we're going with Matt Chapman, $2,900, averaging just over nine fantasy points per game on the season. Goes against the Milwaukee Brewers and Chichi Gonzalez. Chichi Chi Gonzalez is a guy that's essentially a spot starter. Journeyman at the MLB level. If he's starting for your team, you're usually not too happy about it. Probably a team that's going to be good to stack today overall is that Blue Jays team. And Matt Chapman's going to be one of those key pieces. He's one for one versus Gonzalez in his career and starting to hit the ball pretty well as of late. Then at shortstop, we're going to go with Ahmed Rosario, $2,700, averaging just under nine fantasy points per game on this season. Goes against the Boston Red Sox and Rich Hill. He's three for eight versus Hill in his career, and he's on a five-game hitting streak. And he also has a hit in seven out of his last eight games, so definitely some pretty good upside there with Ahmed Rosario today, especially as a pay-down option overall. Then last but not least, we're going to the outfield. We're going with Lourdes Scurriel Jr. for the Toronto Blue Jays as well, $2,900. Averages just over 8.5 fantasy points per game on the season. He has no history versus Chichi Gonzalez in his career, but he has four straight multi-hit games and a five-game hitting streak overall. So definitely love the upside that Guriel does present today overall. But with that being said, if you go with these five players that I do have this year, you have $12,600 remaining, just over $3,100 per player. There's a chance that you could pay out for one player and sneak in another value play. But if you're trying to go with some of these already value plays that we do have, maybe sneak in a little bit more balanced approach for your last four players. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to my top GPP stacks for today. So the ones that I do have for today are going to be the Minnesota Twins going against Ryan Feltner and the Colorado Rockies. They have no previous history versus him. But, you know, going against a relatively young and proven pitcher could end up well for them, could end up not so well. So... Twins definitely a team to look at stacking today. Then we have the St. Louis Cardinals going against Matt Swarmer of the Chicago Cubs. They faced him once before. Tommy Edmond hit a home run versus Juan Yepes has a hit. Swarmer was okay in that game, but definitely do not expect that to be the case once again. And then we have the Chicago White Sox going against Jordan Lyles. Pretty much any time Jordan Lyles is pitching, you're going to want to stack the opposing team versus him. Sometimes it won't work out, but most of the time it's going to work out pretty well for you overall. And then last but not least, we have that Toronto Blue Jays team that I kind of alluded to before going against Chichi Gonzalez of the Milwaukee Brewers. Once again, Chichi's kind of that journeyman. When you're starting for your team, you're usually not too happy about it. 
probably a better AAA pitcher than he'll ever be at the major league level. But the Blue Jays also have a pretty good offense overall. So stacking guys like Matt Chapman, Lourdes Gurriel Jr., Vladimir Guerrero, if you want to get there, Bo Bichette, lots of different options in that lineup overall. But with that being said, these are my core five picks as well as top GPP stacks for today, June 26th. As always, if you have any questions related to MLB DFS, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, be sure to let me know your favorite play on today's slate, whether it's someone from my core five picks, whether it's someone from my top GPP stacks, or whether it's a completely different player you guys think I missed. Definitely interested in hearing what you have to say. But with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. Helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your DFS, mainly MLB DFS at this point in time. But once we get back around to the NFL and NBA regular seasons, I'll be covering those two sports as well. And then with that being said, if you are newer current subscribers yet to do so, also be sure to hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily MLB DFS videos just like this. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.